Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I am pregnant with a, a little boy. And today I wanna share with you guys what happened at my anatomy scan. I will start with saying that my baby looked very healthy and normal as expected at my anatomy scan. So there is no concern with his development. The concern is with my ability to carry him to full term. And that is because I was diagnosed with a condition called placenta previa. And this video is definitely not medical advice or I'm not even going to get really into the medical terms and things that go along with placenta previa just because it's been very hard for me to research and look into. It has caused me a lot of stress and honestly I've just decided that I'm done looking into that. But if you have dealt with placenta previa and you would like to share your stories with me and hopefully share some positive stories with me, I would really appreciate that. The basics of placenta previa just means that part or all of your cervix is covered by your placenta, which can cause many things. Um, it can cause bleeding, hemorrhaging, preterm labor. There's just a lot of concerns that go into having that where they just have to monitor you more closely and my OB has pretty much told me if anything um, doesn't feel right or if I have any spotting, bleeding, anything, I have to call the nurse right away and then I would most likely be sent to the emergency room for labor and delivery depending on how far along I am at that time. My OB also put me on pelvic rest basically to prevent anything from getting worse, like trying to keep my condition um, stable so that I can stay home and I don't have to be um, like on, put on bed rest or like sent to the hospital or be admitted or anything because that can happen depending on your level of placenta previa and how it's affecting your pregnancy. My doctor has also decided that she will have me get ultrasounds every four weeks when I come in for my regular OB appointment. She wants me to have an ultrasound that morning before I come in and I see her so she can monitor where my placenta is um, in correlation to my cervix to see if it's moving away from my cervix because she said that there is a chance that as my pregnancy progresses that my placenta might move up my uterus and then maybe the condition would improve on its own that's kind of your only hope i guess is that the placenta moves on its own because if it doesn't then there's no ability for you to have a vaginal delivery. With all that being said, my doctor told me that if my condition doesn't improve and that my placenta doesn't move up to where it needs to be, that I would essentially be having an early cesarean to deliver my baby before I would go into labor naturally. So from what my understanding is, is around 36 weeks, they would have me deliver by cesarean because if you go into labor naturally with this condition, it can be very dangerous for mom and for baby. I'm really hopeful that my condition will improve. Um, my doctor did say that my placenta is covering my whole cervix. She didn't say by how much or how much it needed to move exactly. And at that time when she was talking to me about it, I didn't even bother to ask that. Um, but I'm really hopeful that it will improve. 
before I go into labor. So, I know this is kind of a sad, not very uplifting video. I just wanted to inform you guys about what is going on with my pregnancy. I'm very, very grateful to be pregnant and I'm very, very grateful to have a healthy baby. And if it comes down to me having a cesarean, then that's something I can completely deal with. It's not what I want, but I just want to make sure that my baby can stay inside my belly for as long as possible so that he is healthy and doesn't have any issues from being delivered early or any issues from my placenta or my uterus not doing what it needs to do to help him grow because I've looked online and there's like growth restrictions that can happen because of this and oh, it's just yeah it's just been rough so I'm trying to stay off of the internet and googling things because it's not helpful by any means but if you have ever dealt with placenta previa I would love to hear what happened with your situation so if you could please leave that in the comments or if you don't feel like sharing it in the comments but if you want to go to my Instagram and message me directly I could really use some positive experiences from you ladies it would help me tremendously thank you guys for watching this video and in four weeks when I do have my next ultrasound or if something else happens um, in the future I will update you guys and let you know where we are at that point and I could really use all of your prayers that everything will go smoothly with the rest of this pregnancy and that I will have the ability to have a full-term baby because that is my biggest hope is that this baby will get delivered and be healthy. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next video.